text and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use FileZill and how FileZill work and I will show you how we can transfer files to another server and how we can get files from another server by using FileZill and in this video I will be using HostGator cPanel and this is web hosting and as you see here I have web hosting which is HostGator and cPanel stands for control panel and these control panels are used by many hosting companies which allow you to and give you the option of different uh, things what you can do you can create databases on these C panels as you as, as I already have shown you in my other videos you can transfer files you can do many different things and this is basically for web hosting however FileZilla could be used as well not only for web hosting but for transferring files from one server to another server and all you would need to know is just the IP address for example or host or internet protocol from that server which you want to connect and login details and if you don't know these login details you could pretty much ask whoever is responsible administrator of the web server and so on and so forth let's go and I will show you how we use HostGator and as you see if I open FileZilla as I did just now by clicking on this icon which is pinned at the bottom of my taskbar as you see here is FZ FileZilla then this window opens up and here on the left hand side you can see this is your file system which is on your computer and if we just like scroll this top bar we can see that here we have our documents if I want to get in documents then you see that everything what is in documents folder opens up and if I for example would click on desktop then you see then I have here done videos here how to get YouTube subscribers and so on and so forth I have different folders and all these folders which open up here on the other window which is underneath here this is what is in this desktop folder and if I will show you so for example now I have clicked here on desktop I have here music new folders some some and so on and if I go to my desktop you see all these folders like new folder, music, special effects, done videos, they are there on my desktop. Or if you would want to go to downloads then you click here on downloads in top window here and you get into downloads and similar way we can open downloads on my computer like downloads you see here is lots of videos and you can see them here in the window on the left hand side which is second bottom window. So guys I think this would be clear so top window is what folders you are accessing and if you click on some folder on the bottom window you get what is in that folder and this is your local computer environment and now we will be connecting to server and like I said we will be connecting to HostGator and if I open now FileZilla then you see that here at the very top there is host and this is IP address which we need to enter and every server has this IP address even if you would be using SSH connection which I will show you in one of my next videos by using PuTTY or which is a Linux environment and it is works exactly the same first thing what you will need is your host it is IP address of the server which you want to connect and we want to connect to HostGator in my example I will be connecting to HostGator and as you see I'm here in my cPanel and if you don't know where to find your IP address it is here on the right hand side if you will scroll here you will see that there should be somewhere like general information as you see here is general information on the right hand side and there is site IP all I need to do is copy this site IP address and this is that host what I was talking about and then we open up our FileZilla and we paste it in here on top in where is host like this is your IP that's all what you needed and about username and password it would be the same exactly the same username and password you use to log into your cPanel if you have got your cPanel or if you don't even have a cPanel and you are connecting to some server and you are able to connect it in any way you always get this username and password and normally with HostGator you get all these details transferred to your email address whenever you buy a new hosting with HostGator or with any other hosting provider or server you will get it in your email so I have my 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 username for this cPanel is Bugatti as you see here on top I can see it is Bugatti here on the right top corner you can see that this is Bugatti and you can find this information here as current user 
and that's if you are using hostgator in this case so let's go and let's type in username bugatti and like i said your password will be whatever password you are using to log in to your hostgator cpanel so we will type in my password here in password field which is second field and then simply click quick connect okay and this will pop up you say okay okay let's wait a little bit and here you on the right hand side now you can see this environment which is on that server and now this is not on our local computer this is what happening on server and if you would want to see what is happening on server from hostgator you all you need to do is to open to go to your cpanel and here in files if you scroll down you will find files or for example here on the right hand or on the left hand side you will see here websites files just click on that and it will bring you to files like oh, sorry guys this is files like as you see and file first one is file manager and that is where all your files are located and if i click in, in it i will get to this window and this window as you see is another window and these are not files yet and we need to click on public html public underscore html here on the left hand side click on it and you will get files in one of my previous videos i showed you how we can get wordpress website full new installation to your hostgator or your hosting and this is what we have here and first file which as you know guys is getting accessed is index.php and this works on shard tutorials i have created this uh, like domain name and if we go to shardtutorials.com you will see what is happening online and this is for accessible for any user this website is accessible for any user on internet if you would go to shardtutorials.com this is what you would get and all files are here in public dot public underscore html and to show you that this really is like that like i'm saying here so i will go here in index file i will just rename it to index one two three go out oh actually we got have to right click rename and i will say index one two three dot php rename file and as you know guys if there is no index file in the directory which is being accessed and there is nothing really being accessed and now there is index one two three but there is no index file and if I refresh, then this site will go it's gone now but what we can do is we can create a new index file for example i could do it on my local environment and i will use like this notepad plus plus and i will simply hello world i will simply type in hello world and save this file as index.php file on my desktop so to do that to do that i can go here file save as and i go to desktop click desktop and i uh, type in index.php okay and i will save this file on my desktop so this file is now on my desktop so what i can do next i, I need to open my filezilla and if i click now here on desktop where is our desktop like let's click we like i said here on the bottom window we will see everything what is on my desktop so let's search for that index.php file okay as you see it's here at the very bottom index.php and now we would want to transfer this file to that host and as you see on the right hand side we have this public html folder here and this is where we got when we opened file manager in our hostgator c panel so click into this double click into this uh oh no not public and to go back actually which here you see is a folder with two dots you just click on it and you will double click and you will get back we need to go into public underscore html so let's double click on public underscore html and what we need to do now we need to transfer this index file to here and i will show you guys now i will open this as you will see here now we have only one index 123.php but we will import from my computer to this server index.php file which we just created and saved it on my desktop so let's open filezilla now and just make sure that there is no other index files and you will see that there will appear one whenever we will transfer one so let's open this one and let's go here let's click on index.php file which is on my desktop so it is on desktop so you make sure that you click on desktop 
to get to desktop and as you see everything below is what is on desktop so click on this you could double click and it will transfer straight away and you can right click and you click upload and that file got it uploaded as you see here index.php so as we can see here index123.php and now if we will go back to our uh, cpanel file manager let's refresh it we have to go again into public html because it's using prob probably ajax you see that this index.php file was transferred and it is here now and there is hello world in in it so if you if i would go now to shardtutorials.com i should get hello world as you see guys we have hello world displayed on our site and this is what i did because first file if you didn't know guys is index file which gets opened or rendered whenever it when in any folder pretty much in web development if you are using php for example or html so yes guys this is how you transfer files to server but if you would want to transfer file from server we could change the content for example to this index.php by just clicking on it so it's marked blue and we could click edit okay and here edit again and uh, hello world and we would add one, one more word world save this save changes so we saved whatever is in that file and let's close this file and now if we go to short tutorials we should get hello world world so let's click on it just let's refresh this and we see that now it's displayed hello world world and we will transfer this file to back to my computer now by using filezilla so let's go to filezilla and here we have this index.php right click on it and download and it will overwrite this file which is already it's now as you see target file already exists so it's it's the same index file we say yes always uh, like okay overwrite it and now that file should be overwritten. If I open it up, yes, in C, in uh, my Notepad++, you see hello world world. And this, this means that we have overwritten this particular file and we transferred it from my server to my desktop. If you wouldn't want to overwrite it, we would simply need to create another folder where we store that particular file so yes guys this is pretty much it how easy it is to use filezilla to go around and pretty much work and transfer files to and from your servers okay guys if you enjoyed this video leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel and see you in my other videos